Hi, thanks for using my court coach. I'm Sarah and I'll be your instructor today as we discuss legal standards considered by the court in making custody decisions. Usually, most of the time, the legal standard used by the court in making custody decisions is the best interest of the child. Um, when does that apply? Almost at all times, unless there's been a final judicial determination of custody and what that is, we'll discuss a little bit later. To decide what is best for a child, the court will consider a whole host of factors, including but not limited to the age of the child, the health of the child, the emotional ties between the parents and the child, the ability of the parents to care for the child, any history of family violence or substance abuse, and the child's ties to school, home, and his or her community. What the courts cannot do is allow their own personal beliefs and biases to get into the way or interfere with their decision making. So the court cannot automatically give custody to one parent or the other, no matter the sex or age of the children, just based on that parent's gender. What they cannot do is deny custody and visitation rights to a parent because they were never married to the other parent. They cannot deny custody visitation rights because one of the parties has a physical disability and they cannot deny custody visitation rights because one of the parties may practice a different lifestyle, practice a certain religious belief or have a certain sexual orientation unless there is convincing evidence that that actually does interfere with the best interests of the child. Um, sometimes at the conclusion of a case, the court will make a final judicial determination of custody. If so, this needs to be clearly stated that this is a final order. A lot of times this is called a Montenegro order. That's M-O-N-T-E-N-E-G-R-O. And that's based on the case of in remarriage of Montenegro. Um, so you would need either a stipulation that's an agreement between the parties saying that this is a Montenegro order or a final judicial custodial determination, or you would need at the time of trial for the judge to indicate that this is a final order. What that does is instead of require the party who's seeking a modification of custody to argue best interest of the child, they now have to show that there's been a significant change of circumstances that allows this court to modify the custody orders. Some examples of what may be significant change of circumstances is if one of the parents is moving, and maybe that depends on where they're moving to, um, if a child is not doing well in school, if there are allegations of abuse or neglect, or if one of the parties has remarried. Um, Regardless, however, even if you cannot prove a significant change of circumstances to modify custody, if all you're seeking to do is modify the visitation in California, you do not need to show a significant change of circumstances to do that. So if all you want is to change a Monday visit to a Wednesday visit and it has no significant impact on the actual custodial rights of the parties, um, then that is fine and allowed and no significant change of circumstances needs to be shown. I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.